Hi, my name is Aiden Tuminator from the Cochlear Implant Live YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be looking at six free listening resources for Cochlear Implant recipients. Why not like and subscribe to the Cochlear Implant Live YouTube channel? It means you get all the latest updates and videos. Please do sign up, we'd love to have your support. Before proceeding, all the links to the free listening resources can be found above the comment section. Let's dive right in. The first listening resource I'm recommending is an unusual one. It's a website which is called Bits and it has a wide range of audiobooks. The website is designed for English language learners to improve their reading skills. What I like about it is you have a wide range of audiobooks. You have clear speakers, very easy to understand, and also you can change the speed of the voice of the person reading the audiobook. Let's have a look at the website. Here we have the classic audiobooks. Frankenstein, Vanity Fair, David Copperfield, your sport for choice. You've got short stories, you've got intermediate books and advanced books. Say so this is the level of English and the words that they use the vocabulary at intermediate level, it's very basic. At advanced level, it's going to be more complex. Now, I'm going to look at Sherlock Holmes' collection. I'm a massive fan of Sherlock Holmes. So we can see here, we've got a lot of books and let's go to the sign of four. So you have a kind of summary of what the book is about. You go to the book index and you pick your chapter. Here we have the text for chapter one and then we can play at a faster listening speed or a slower listening speed and then scroll through the text whilst listening to the reader. What about compatibility? Well, you can play it on your PC, you can play it on your Mac through the websites. It also works well on an iPad or a tablet, but to play the website on a mobile phone, it can be tricky to read the text while it's listening to the audio at the same time. Overall, this website benefits those cochlear implant users who are at the early stages of their journey in terms of listening rehab. My second recommended listening resource is an app called Angel Sand, and I believe this is one of the most advanced listening programs. It's very comprehensive. It contains so much, and every rookie cochlear implant user should have this. The program contains audio and visual feedback. It has nine different modules and I won't go through all of them, but I'll name some of them. And one of them is a basic module, then there's an adaptive speech and noise training module, then there's a scene based learning module for children. You name it, this has it. So with Angel Sounds, you can track progress and you get a really good overview at how your listening with a cochlear implant is developing. At first, Angel Sounds can appear daunting, but the website has training videos and it's then not as complicated as it looks. It's really difficult to believe that Angel Sounds is free. It's that good. In terms of compatibility, a simplified version is downloadable on the Apple iPhone. The full version is available on the PC only. If you want to get this working in Apple Mac, you can download software called Bootcamp and then this means that you can turn your Apple into a PC. You'll need to own a PC license to be able to do this. My third listening resource recommendation is The Listening Room. Now this is a website resource designed by the company Advanced Bionics. It contains lots of audio and video listening exercises, but what's unique is that you can download and print written exercises for infants and toddlers, preschool and school age. This means that teachers can apply these exercises in their speech and language classes. Also, parents can engage with their children at home in doing these exercises together rather than in front of a computer. 
Some of the games are great fun and instructions are provided with each activity so overall it's really impressive. It certainly takes a different slant to learning. The listening room is best played through their website on an Apple or PC. The website is also accessible on tablets. The number 4 listening resource that I recommend is TED Talks. Variety is the spice of life. Listening exercises are important but they can become mundane and boring. TED Talks offers a wide range of interesting topics so you're effectively learning whilst listening. Ideally, the presenter's speech setting can be changed to suit you accordingly. In terms of compatibility, you can access TED Talks through your website or you can download it on your tablets or phones. Overall, TED Talks has a wealth of information. New lectures are added to the platform every day. TED Talks ensures that listening doesn't have to be a chore. The fifth listening resource recommendation is an app called Heroes. This app is customised to be very user friendly and incorporates gaming elements into their exercises. So the user experience is that you're doing your listening exercises but it also feels like you're playing a game too. Heroes is exclusive to mobile phones such as the Android phones and the Apple iPhone so it's very useful in terms of when you're travelling and you just want to instantly pick up an app and play it. The app boasts three modules, identifying words, environmental sounds and narratives and dialogues. It's a must-have app on your phone and dare I say it, it's quite addictive. My sixth and final listening resource recommendation is YouTube. I'm a big fan of popular culture so YouTube offers that platform for me in terms of movies and music but also I like to follow influencers who are specialised in income, streams, environmental issues and then also travel. I choose to follow YouTube channels where I believe that the presenter is a really good communicator and also that they have closed captions which are precise and easy to follow. Obviously I want the content to be engaging and informative also. I also listen to music on YouTube and listening to music is really accessible because they have closed captions but also you can listen to music where you have the lyrics on the screen. There is a website for YouTube and also it's downloadable as an app for Android and Apple tablets and phones. Overall with YouTube there's a lot of diversification in terms of accents and content so this means that my listening skills are constantly being stimulated. And that's it. That's six free listener resources for cochlear implant recipients. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have additional comments about free listener resources for cochlear implant recipients, we'd love to hear from you in our comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe to the Cochlear Implant Live channel. We'd love to have your support. See you in the next video.